Type, type, type. Enter. Backspace over and over repeatedly. It was all you would ever hear when I typed. The typing. Trying to make sense of it all. Pressing enter, seeing as I thought I was writing something good. The constant backspace because I could never get anything I wanted to say out on the page the way I wanted it. This is how it went every time I typed anything, whether it be a summary of a book I actually liked or an essay that I dreaded turning in. The words never poured out of me like a fresh glass of chocolate milk. This is what started my frustration with writing. I always hated getting essay assignments because the teacher would grade it upon her own standards of writing. It made me feel required to write a certain way. The essays assigned in English class usually had many topics to choose from, but I was never passionate about the one I picked. The topics I picked were always based on what I felt I could elaborate or do my best work on. I tried so hard on every essay I wrote, but I never did as well as I wanted. I came to believe I just wasn't good at writing. When I signed up for classes for my senior year of high school, I had already picked everything I wanted. I had to pick two alternatives in case any of the others didn't work out. I picked Spanish three honors as one and then ultimately decided to also choose creative writing because it never crossed my mind that I would actually have to take it. It was just a backup. Registration came around and I wasn't worried at all. I automatically assumed that I would have the exact classes I signed up for. Well, I was wrong. I was placed in creative writing after all. The first week of this class involved talking about ourselves and getting into the subject of memoirs, which are stories or memories that reveal something about yourself. Once I was given the guidelines for the assignment, I immediately had an idea for what I was going to write about. It was so easy. I was going to write about the best day of my life, the moment I was front row at a concert for my favorite band, 21 Pilots. Miss Smith, my creative writing teacher, told me that she thought it would make an amazing memoir, and so that's what I set out to do. However, I still had the preconceived notions I always had when writing. These were running through my head like water out of a faucet. It just wouldn't stop. That was until I actually sat down and listened to 21 Pilots music, bringing my memory to life. It helped me write effortlessly without any distractions. I only caught myself a few times pausing, questioning the wording, but never questioning my ideas or thoughts. The day before we were supposed to work on revising the drafts, I asked Miss Smith if I could stay after school so we could go through my memoir together. I explained to her that I didn't think the peer editing really helped and that I was hoping she could talk through editing my piece with me. That afternoon was one I will remember forever. I learned a remarkable amount as Miss Smith talked through each piece of my memoir with me. I had never had a moment where I felt so connected and helped by a teacher. I learned a lot about myself as a writer as we edited my paper. I learned from this moment that I am actually good at writing and I don't give myself enough credit. I can now see that I enjoy writing. I love how it feels to turn in something that is important to me. I still struggled at parts with this particular piece of writing, but a very significant person in my literacy life, Miss Smith, showed me that what I created was good. Great even. She made me realize that with great writing comes a great struggle and that putting forth effort makes an even better, more special end result, especially when the end result led me to enjoying the one thing I stumbled through all along.